For months, the spaceflight community has been captivated by a peculiar sight, one that has sparked endless curiosity and debate among both experts and fans alike. During recent Starship test flights, keen-eyed observers noticed distinct orange streaks across its belly during re-entry, glowing vividly against the darkness of space and the blackness of the heat shield. These streaks appeared exactly where new experimental heat shield tiles had been installed, making it clear that something different was happening on these sections of the spacecraft. Theories exploded online. Were the tiles failing, burning away, or reacting with the plasma in some unexpected way? Social media buzzed with speculation, and forums filled with heated discussions and wild guesses, the vibrant orange stood out against the familiar black tiles, fueling speculation and debate. Some wondered if this was a sign of a breakthrough, or a potential disaster in the making. SpaceX and Elon Musk stayed quiet, adding to the intrigue. Their silence only deepened the mystery, leaving the public to wonder what was really happening behind closed doors. The public was used to black ceramic tiles, a proven technology from the space shuttle era, which had protected astronauts for decades and become an icon of space travel safety. The sudden appearance of orange suggested a fundamental change in material or performance, hinting at a new chapter in spacecraft design and engineering. But the truth was more fascinating than the rumors. The real story behind the orange streaks was about innovation, not failure. The orange streaks weren't a sign of failure. They were the result of a bold experiment, a calculated risk taken by SpaceX engineers to push the boundaries of what's possible. SpaceX was testing a new type of metallic heat shield tile, aiming for greater durability and lighter weight. These tiles could potentially be reused flight after flight, reducing costs and turnaround time. The orange color came from oxidation, a natural process like rust, when the metal met superheated oxygen during re-entry. This reaction created the striking orange hue, but didn't compromise the tile's integrity. Elon Musk confirmed this, shifting the conversation from concern to excitement. The community realized they were witnessing a new era of heat shield technology unfold in real time. The orange streaks became a symbol of SpaceX's relentless innovation in the quest for reusable spaceflight, reminding us that every bold experiment brings us closer to the future of interplanetary travel. To really understand SpaceX's latest experiment, it helps to know the fundamental differences between ceramic and metallic heat shield tiles. These two materials represent very different approaches to protecting a spacecraft from the intense heat of re-entry, and each comes with its own set of strengths and weaknesses. Most of Starship's belly is covered in black ceramic tiles, toughened silica fiber insulation that's excellent at blocking heat. These tiles are specifically engineered to absorb and dissipate the extreme temperatures generated as the spacecraft plunges back through Earth's atmosphere. But while these ceramic tiles are reliable and have a proven track record, they're also quite brittle. Even a small impact or a tiny crack can compromise their effectiveness, which means they require constant, careful inspection and frequent replacement. This process is time-consuming and labor-intensive, slowing down the turnaround between flights. For Starship's ambitious goal of rapid reuse, where rockets are turned around in days, not months, that's a significant challenge. Every extra hour spent on maintenance is an hour lost in the race to make spaceflight routine. Enter metallic tiles. Made from advanced high-temperature alloys, these tiles are designed to radiate heat away from the spacecraft and withstand direct impacts that would shatter ceramics. Their metallic structure gives them a unique advantage in durability. Unlike ceramics, you could hit a metallic tile with a hammer and it would likely survive, barely showing a dent. This resilience means less frequent inspections and replacements, which is a huge plus for reusability. This toughness is crucial for a rocket meant to fly again and again, enduring the rigors of launch, re-entry and landing without constant repairs. But there's a trade-off. Metals conduct heat much more easily than ceramics, passing more of that intense energy to the vehicle's underlying structure. This can create new engineering challenges. If too much heat gets through, it could weaken the hull or damage sensitive internal systems, threatening the safety and integrity of the spacecraft. That's why metallic tiles can't simply replace ceramics everywhere. Each material has its ideal application, and using them in the wrong place could be risky. To make it work, engineers need a more complex integrated system, one that manages heat flow, protects the structure, and balances the strengths of both materials. That's exactly what SpaceX is developing, a hybrid approach using each material where it works best, ceramics for the hottest, most exposed areas, and metallics for places where durability and rapid turnaround matter most. 
The orange tiles you see are the first step in this new direction, an experiment to see how well metallic tiles perform in real flight conditions. It's a calculated risk but if it pays off, it could revolutionize how we build reusable rockets, making spaceflight faster, cheaper and more reliable than ever before. The brilliant orange color you see on Starship's heat shield tiles is more than just a striking visual. It's the result of a fascinating process called oxidation. During re-entry, the metal tiles are exposed to extreme heat and oxygen, triggering a chemical reaction that transforms the surface. As Starship plunges through the atmosphere at hypersonic speeds, the tiles encounter superheated plasma. This intense environment causes the metal to react with oxygen, forming a thin, stable oxide layer that glows orange. This orange layer isn't a sign of damage or failure. In fact, it's exactly how the tiles are engineered to function, protecting the spacecraft during its fiery descent. The oxide layer acts as a tough, protective barrier, shielding the underlying metal from further harm and preventing deeper structural damage. This process is known as passivation, a clever application of material science that turns a potential weakness into a strength. Instead of constantly battling oxidation, SpaceX actually harnesses it, allowing the tiles to form a self-healing shield that renews itself with each re-entry. Unlike traditional ablative shields that burn away and need replacement after every flight, these metallic tiles are designed for repeated use, surviving multiple missions. The orange hue is simply the natural color of the oxide layer, a visible sign that the protective process is working as intended. Engineers can even analyze the color patterns and intensity to study how heat was distributed across the shield, helping them refine future designs for even better performance. The orange streaks and marks left behind are more than just scars, they're a data-rich record of the tile's performance, providing valuable insights for ongoing improvements and innovations in spacecraft protection. Metallic tiles alone aren't enough. Because they conduct heat, SpaceX added an active cooling system. This system circulates Starship's own cryogenic methane fuel through channels behind the tiles. As the tiles heat up, the methane absorbs the energy, keeping the steel hull safe. This process, called transpiration cooling, uses the vehicle's propellant for a second critical job. The heated methane then becomes pressurized gas for the engines, boosting efficiency. This closed-loop system turns excess heat into a resource, but it adds complexity pumps, valves, and plumbing must work flawlessly. Any failure could cause a catastrophic hotspot. That's why SpaceX is rigorously testing the system on every flight. The recent successes prove the concept is working, paving the way for rapid, reliable reusability. Advanced heat shields are key to Elon Musk's vision of making humanity multiplanetary. Reusability is the only way to make space travel affordable and routine. Most rockets are still single-use. Starship aims to change that. Both the booster and upper stage are designed to return, refuel, and fly again within hours. This is impossible without a robust, low-maintenance heat shield. Metallic tiles, despite their complexity, could drastically cut turnaround time. Every design choice is about enabling rapid reuse and building the foundation for a city on Mars. The orange streaks are proof of progress toward that audacious goal. Will metallic tiles replace ceramics entirely? Unlikely. The future is a hybrid ceramics for most of the surface, metallic tiles for the hottest, most vulnerable spots. Ceramics are lightweight, cheap, and proven for broad coverage. Metallic tiles with active cooling protect the leading edges and nose, where heat and impact risk are highest. This mix lets engineers optimize for durability, mass, and maintenance. SpaceX is already validating this approach, placing orange tiles where they matter most. The result is a mosaic of advanced materials, each chosen for its strengths. The orange streaks are a glimpse into this sophisticated future. Starship's heat shield is becoming a model for next-generation spacecraft. Starship's 10th flight was a breakthrough. For the first time, the vehicle completed re-entry and a controlled splashdown, with live video showing the heat shield in action. Both ceramic and metallic tiles performed flawlessly, glowing red-hot but staying intact. No catastrophic tile loss, just a robust hybrid shield doing its job. The orange streaks proved to be harmless oxidation, not a flaw. This success validates SpaceX's innovative approach and clears the way for even faster reusability, the data from Flight 10 will help refine the system for future missions. The orange streaks are now a badge of honor, a symbol of progress on the frontier of space travel.